WWE presents Extreme Rules. Rules are meant to be broken. What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome back. This is part two of our Extreme Rules little special and today it's the uh, Tag Team Tornado Tables match between uh, Team Hell No and uh, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. It's going to be an interesting one because obviously the rules are, you know, when one person gets put through the table it could be a two-on-one tables match so there could be a bit of chaos, there could be a lot of just random shit happening. Now I'm going to be playing as R-Truth and Kofi Kingston in this match purely because I wouldn't mind keeping the belts on Kofi Kingston and R-Truth because I've got plans for Kane going forward as a singles competitor and maybe pushing Daniel Bryan for a singles championship himself but I will keep them as a tag team but I just don't want them having tag team gold just yet so hopefully if things work out Kofi and R-Truth will pick up the win here but either way here comes Kane with his uh big boy entrance you know it does annoy me when he gets to the ring you don't see the part where he takes off the uh, like the hockey mask that he's wearing you know because he well, mind you he doesn't even wear it on TV anymore but when he used to wear that mask on the way to the ring he'll take it off and then do the pyro but he does the pyro with that mask on this game you don't see him remove it which is kind of disappointing but I'm just being fussy here aren't I so tag team championships on the line and I don't like these new tag team championships at some point we may try and change the belts because I just don't like the big it just looks like a huge penny on 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 the on, on the belt you know I'd prefer like the old school tag team belt so we may be changing the belts over at some point same as the WWE championship but I want that to have quite like a big storyline implication because I don't like the spinner belt I like the old WWF belt from like the attitude era so I might try and bring that in somehow or the um, undisputed belt which I always you know, I always think of Brock Lesnar and Eddie Guerrero and JBL when I think of that belt. It's the old um, belt that they used to use on SmackDown. So we might bring in the new WWE Championship as well at some point. We could create our own, but I don't like the create a belt thing on this game. I don't think you have enough choices. There's not that many things to do to customise a belt. I mean, it is the first time they've introduced it on the game, so I don't expect it to be perfect. Maybe in two or three more WWE games the uh, custom belt designs will improve and we can start making better belts but as you can see here we go with Kofi Kingston and Daniel Bryan I think I'm controlling Kofi Kingston I can't remember this was a while ago I can't remember what happens in this match at all yeah no I think we are controlling Kofi and uh, while he's stomping a mud hole when Bryan I'll go and take a sip of my coffee hang on <sighs> sweet now I wouldn't mind a bit of input from you guys in the comment section on this one because I'm thinking about introducing a general manager into this universe mode. Now I wouldn't mind getting some ideas from you guys, you know, who should that GM be? It could be absolutely anybody within reason, like for example Hulk Hogan, Paul Heyman, Ric Flair, Mick Foley. Let us know who you wouldn't mind seeing as a raw general manager and I'll try and bring that in storyline wise. I mean it won't be just one episode, hey new GM, it will be like a gradual process. Because well, I had an idea in mind, like a general manager election where what, four potential GMs, they each control a show in turn. And at the end of it they have like a uh, election where you guys can vote who you want to be as the new GM. And each GM will have his, have his own agenda. So Paul Heyman will be like, well... CM Punk's my best mate, let's keep the belt on him whereas Hulk Hogan will be, let me tell you something brother I'm going to do this, and then Ric Flair will be like woo, I'm going to do this, so you, by choosing a GM, you're choosing how the show is run and which superstars get pushes and things like that so it could be quite interesting, so you guys can have quite a huge impact on what happens in the universe mode, so honestly, feel free to um, to suggest the candidates because I've not selected who's going to be in the running yet so I, I'm, I'm saying Paul Heyman, Flair Hogan Foley and all that, but you could go, well no, what about this guy, I think shit, that's a good idea, let's put him in the running, so um, feel free to make your suggestions, and uh, we'll definitely be doing that going forward, because the, the thing that I like about making this series is that it's completely customisable, you know, with Football Manager, it's just like, well Rick, can you do this, and it's like, well I'll try, whereas with this WWE stuff, you can say, Rick, you should do this, and I'd be like, well yeah, why shouldn't I, let's go, and just create it. <coughs> So the more interactive this is, the more I enjoy it and the more interesting it gets. 
So, um, yeah, just stay active, man. Let us know. Thanks for the support so far, anyway. It gets um, a good response from you guys, which is cool. I mean, at the minute, this channel is on 170 subscribers, which is, um, for a backup channel, for a second channel, not being my main one, I think that's quite a good following, and that's quite cool. Because I can't put this on my main channel because of the copyright strikes. Which is a bit unfortunate, because every episode that comes out... I don't think it's an official strike, it's a third-party content. Now, if I upload this to my main channel, it will get more views, but it'll probably get a fair few dislikes, because they're all football manager people over there. I have no idea what happened to Kofi Kingston there, just randomly ghosted through the ropes. But if I was to put this on my main channel, with all the third party matching strikes, whatever you want to call it, it does, it would just fuck up my potential of getting that channel partnered, because they're like, well you have to remove all these videos. Whereas if I have it on a backup channel, that I've no real interest in partnering. All that kind of stuff doesn't matter. And that way, you're all wrestling fans. You know exactly what you're going to get. So, yeah, it's all good. Right. Double stacking the tables. Can we do something with this? Thanks to VB2R as well for letting me know that you can set tables on fire. Just unfortunately, um, I recorded this before the reply. I should have probably tried it. I, I just had in my head, yeah, set the table on fire. Use Kane and choke slamming through the table. But I forgot to do it and I forgot to control Kane. So, uh, yeah. There goes Kofi Kingston getting the shit kicked out of him by Kane. Archery's pissed. He wants to put Daniel Bryan through the announce table instead of a standard wooden table. And uh, obviously the computer's controlling Archery. We're just focusing on Kane. And uh, Kofi Kingston with an epic fail with a drop kick. And Daniel Bryan has been eliminated. I think Archery's uh, just. Oh, I missed it because I was looking at the failed drop kick but um, Daniel Bryan's eliminated it's now 2 on 1 and there's still a good 3 or 4 minutes left in this video so uh, it's a 2 on 1 against Kane which should be quite interesting and uh, Kane just decides to fucking ruin our chances of putting him for a table there by unfolding it and putting it on the floor which is quite annoying so here goes Kofi Kingston chucking Kane onto the table and I'm thinking oh here we go nice bit of teamwork and then he fucks it up pushes Kane off the table then I fly through it what a numpty we could have had the match wrapped up there but instead I fall through the table it doesn't count as an elimination because I wasn't put through the table I just fell through it which is kind of lucky I guess but I was quite annoyed about that because that would have been quite a good finish to the match a little bit of teamwork going on and it look, would have looked quite cool you know our truth putting him on a table me doing the diving drop kick through it and what the fuck just happened there I've done something and for some reason I'm on the floor uh, randomly kip up and try to uh, kick Kane's ass as our truth runs around with this table there's the uh, comeback thing but um, he kind of reversed it unfortunately I'm going to take another sip of my coffee <sighs> see the only problem is in my head I was like right this is how I want the match to finish. Let's set the table up in this position. Let's try to do this. But as you saw when Kofi pushed Kane off the table, shit just happens and it throws all the plans out. Well, I didn't particularly want our truth to eliminate Daniel Bryan that quickly. You know, ultimately I wanted to win the match. Yeah, don't get me wrong. But it's just like, oh come on, it's going to be a two on one for fucking ages now. Because what I wanted to do here, you see me double stacking the tables. I wanted to double stack the tables put Kane on the top rope, do a, do, a, do a hurricane runner and then see what I mean, he just goes and slides in and knocks both tables out like a complete bellend, which was uh, rather annoying and uh, Kane decides to go and grab a steel chair, doesn't quite go his way and Archer doesn't know what he's doing, he's missing everybody. Right, at this point I was looking for a fourth table. I wanted to put a table in each corner. Doesn't work out. I'm trying to nab the table off uh, the chair off Kane. Doesn't work out. Back suplex. Boosh. How long's left of the video? Mm, about two minutes. Let's let our truth kick his ass for a minute while I fuck about with a table for some reason. Du -du -du -du, du -du -du. Right, what's going on here? But like, extreme rules man, I think 
the future videos that are coming up for, you know for the rest of the pay-per-view it's been a good pay-per-view because obviously I've gone and done it all already you know I recorded this video like a week or so ago oh look what's that for a reversal that was quality but that doesn't count as an elimination either because I just moved and he flew through the table I didn't physically put him through it but yeah the um, up and coming matches on this um, pay-per-view card are quite good the Sheamus versus Wade Barrett video the uh, tables match well yeah it is a tables match yeah that was a really good match the next episode itself is the intercom get my words out the intercontinental championship match between uh, Miz and Christian ladder match that's um, a pretty good match I did enjoy that watch this look at that magic trick from Kane for some reason he's just left floating in the air which was kind of silly yeah I didn't quite get that really but um, Kofi and R-Truth retain they get a clean sheet clean sheet What's my words clean sheet you know two of them left standing both the opposition team has been eliminated and I need to settle down on not talking properly today I don't know what's wrong with me it's because I haven't recorded a wrestling video in a long ass time struggling to get my words out yeah but they retain and they will uh, go on to Raw the next night still as champions and like I said the next match on the card is Miz versus Christian ladder match feel free to put your predictions down for that match who do you think is going to win do you think Christian is going to nab the championship or do you think the Miz does I can't remember who I controlled I can't remember who won I can't remember jack shit so thanks for watching I really do appreciate it if you did enjoy the video please hit that like button for me because it's a bit of motivation to keep these videos coming don't forget to let us know in the comment section who you want to nominate as a potential raw general manager um, the more creative answers the better you know what I mean I'd like someone like AJ nah because she's GM well she was recently GM so um, feel free to suggest it doesn't matter where they're from TNA Ring of Honor uh, Japan WCW or whatever it just feel free to nominate and um, I'll bend out in mind for future episodes. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you soon.